Through the years, the game with State had often been first for Carolina, but it had never come last until it was moved to the Friday after Thanksgiving in Raleigh to accommodate regional television. Bidding for a third straight win over the Wolfpack, the Tar Heels got the ball for the first time at their own 11 and quickly moved out to midfield. Center Jeff Saturday and company gave junior fullback Chris Watson a huge hold. Leon Johnson went into the game needing 176 yards to crack 1,000 for the second time. He also needed just three receptions to break a single season receiving record, which was first established in 1949. Wide slot left side, Barnes split out to the right. Thomas back to throw, looking pass, caught. Leon Johnson, 10, five, down to the three yard line. It took only 12 plays for Johnson to get the Tar Heels a seven nothing advantage. Then on fourth and four, the offensive coaches hit the jackpot again. Thomas to Barnes and it's 14-7. The Wolfpack fought back again, but the Tar Heels would not surrender the momentum going into halftime. Lone running back is Chris Watson. Thomas sprints out to his left, getting pressure, gonna throw it deep, and it is in, caught, touchdown! Deflected pass, caught for the score! Touchdown, Carolina, Darren Ashford made the catch! Carolina was able to pad its 2014 lead in the opening series of the second half. And it didn't take long for the Tar Heels to get rolling again in their second series, despite the cold, wet conditions. Over his last two regular season games, Mike Thomas hit 69% of his passes for almost 400 yards. 12 of his 34 completions went to the speedy Barnes. This time, he picked an even faster Darren Ashford, and it was first and goal at the six. Johnson wound up with 139 yards, including six on his second touchdown run. That ran Carolina's lead out to 30 to 14, and that would be enough points to hold off a furious state rally in the fourth quarter. So Mac Brown's Tar Heels did win another mythical Big Four title, their third in a row. They also had their sixth straight winning regular season, the longest such streak in Carolina football since 1940 and they were on their way to a fourth straight bowl game, this time in warm and sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida.